The Ford Maverick might get all the ink, but the Hyundai Santa Cruz is a pretty great choice in the admittedly not crowded space that is the compact pickup segment. Features a nice cabin and solid on-road driving manners. And now, if you wanted a slightly tougher looking one, Hyundai has created just that with the new 2024 Santa Cruz XRT. Now, don't think that this is a TRD Pro level upgrade here, and that's not what the Santa Cruz is about anyway. Compact pickups are the sort of trucks that are great daily driver machines with, with the ability to head out to the local fire roads if you feel like it. They're almost like the pickup truck versions of a Subaru Crosstrek. With the arrival of the XRT trim, the Santa Cruz gets wider fender flares, side steps, orange center caps on the wheels, blacked out mirror caps and door handles, and XRT badging on the back. Hyundai also fits a set of rails to the bed. Slide inside and you'll find black cloth trim for the seats, adaptive cruise control, and then leather wrapping on the shift knob and the steering wheel. This trim gets rid of the SEL premium version of the truck and slots just below the top spec limited on the family tree. As for power, the XRT comes standard with the better engine choice offered on the Santa Cruz, the 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. It makes a very healthy 281 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque, and it's backed up by an eight-speed dual-clutch gearbox. It's also all-wheel drive only. That's quite a step up over the engine offered on the SE and SEL trims, which is the non-turbocharged four-cylinder, which produces 191 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. That too gets an eight-speed gearbox, but it's a traditional automatic. You get more clutches with the more powerful engine. The starting price of the XRT is $41,185, which is a lot when you compare it to the Ford Maverick, but it is nicer inside than the Maverick. And you know, you can find one of these too, since Ford can't build enough Mavericks to meet demand. Still, I wish Hyundai would take it a step further on the XRT trim, ditch the all seasons and give it basic all terrains. Subaru does a good job of this on its wilderness models by fitting them with the Yokohama Geolander tires. Those aren't too aggressive, they don't create a lot of road noise, and they keep your on-road manners in check. Maybe Hyundai could even add a simple one-inch suspension lift. I'd actually ditch those side steps and leave them for the top spec limited models. They're only serving as something to get caught up on if you actually hit the trails. Plus, you don't need help getting in and out of a Santa Cruz. Another item could be additional forward lighting via some simple fog lights, and finally, perhaps a more simple wheel design that makes cleaning easier once you're home from the dirt. None of those options would be hard to implement, and all of them would go a step further to making the Santa Cruz XRT an intriguing little trail runner in its own right. To prove my point, as I like to do, I've once again fired up Photoshop and I've come up with this. See, that would be kind of cool, right? Come on, Hyundai, make it happen. 